Okay, well, let's do tracking in portrait mode, so we're gonna have to go with angling the camera. Um, hmm. Uh, you're in my bathroom, but you're just gonna see me comb my hair. I stayed on schedule this morning. Close enough, I guess. I stay on schedule. That's why I'm still getting ready because I'm here um, in the apartment still. So here's the problem. I have to get up way early. Well, you know, I only went to bed at like 1.30 in the morning. So I didn't really, I wasn't really going too well this morning. Oh, this is not good. My hair is all messed up. I guess you guys can't see it. It's the back. I can tell the back is all messed up. I don't know why. I just took a shower. No, sorry. I just wet my hair in the shower. I didn't actually take a shower. I uh, shower in the morning when it's cold, and since it hasn't been cold in a year and a half, I don't really do that anymore. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to angle it back up. Oh, we're going to miss breakfast entirely because... <laughs> um, uh, I should stop worrying about angling so much. It takes up too much time. And you guys don't really care if my top of my head's cut off, do you? <laughs> Eat water, that's, that's breakfast preparation. Okay, so I want to talk about two things today. Um, see, I, I, one thing, actually, I'll, let me, let's do it and talk about that first. Is, I've got to get to where I can start videos like, quicker, like start them, I mean, like start talking about what I need to talk about. I noticed yesterday, I started my video and I was like, uh, it's a video, hey, a video, for the first two or three minutes. That was two minutes there of, uh, I don't know why I'm looking in here, nothing's in there. Um, yeah, I need to be able to start talking about it. So the, the big challenge here is getting my brain working kind of boring. But I really do want to do the morning breakfast thing. I all accomplish it because, well, I'm fine why I do that. Hey, they got, they used up all of my, yes. Used up, the cleaning ladies used up all of my dishwashing liquid and did not replace it. What did you even tell me about it? There's a lot left in there. They were kind of generous with that when they washed two dishes. I have two bowls, and that's all I use now. And I'm really shifting to this. You know, I've gone back and forth on this as I have many times. I mean, many, many things. Uh, but, but I don't think I'm going to cook at home after this. Especially if I can make the YouTube thing work. I really don't. Um, it takes too much money, time, and effort. And for a single guy, Especially if I'm going to be traveling everywhere. I mean, obviously I'm going to be traveling everywhere. It's just not going to be possible. But even before that, I can start that. I don't see any reason to do it. And also, if, if my plan is to do the travel thing, then um, I need to empty this place out of all the things to get some value all the stuff that I bought here. So emptying it means not going out and buying more. And also, as I always say, if I'm the, the delivery stuff can actually get expensive. Um, but you don't have to have it delivered every time. <laughs> you know, once the restaurant's reopen, I can just go out to a shop. And in Asia, it's, it's hard to say if it's cheaper. Okay, that makes things are easy to open. Some of them are so easy. I mean, it, it, on the cost, just cost, it comes close. 
either way, I mean, you can literally spend as much in a grocery store trying to just buy stuff to eat than you do having it cooked for you at a noodle stand or something. Because noodles are pretty darn cheap. You can get a whole meal for under two dollars. It's hard to do that in a grocery store. And the meal is being cooked for you. It's obviously faster, so you can, whatever else you're doing in life, you can dedicate more time towards that. If you're doing something that's making you money, then that's a good thing. Of course, I always felt obligated to try and cook at home. But when you're a single person, it doesn't really pay off. I have to cook for one person. I have to buy all the, all the stuff it takes to cook. And then cook one meal, the number of things that you can buy, and then go bad, you know, fresh vegetables, or sometimes meat, even because you have to buy meat in pretty decent size, you know, quantities. I just do it, I don't believe it. It's necessarily a good thing to, to try and cook at home. You always hear it's going to save you money, but I don't think it does. Alright, soak in our noodles, they're probably not going to be done by the end of the video, so. You've been denied the joy of watching me eat. I like to sprinkle some seeds on top of my noodles. Oh, I think my haircut, I need my haircut already. Let's go stand, oh no, no, no. Let's turn the computer on because I want to tell you guys about another thing. But while it's turning on, I'm going to talk about the thing that I was going to talk about yesterday. I went out to get that piece of paper um, yesterday morning so I could talk about it and then never got around to it. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to say about... Hello. I don't know if there's anything else to say about um, getting started. Ugh. One thing is, I need to know what I'm going to say, and I cannot think that clearly <laughs> at you know six o'clock in the morning. That's why I get up early, so that by seven I'm thinking and I'm able to speak and and function as a human being. Um, but doing it immediately, that's a challenge. One thing would be getting plenty of sleep. Like, I've got to stop sitting up all night. And, um, I do that away too much. When you can't sleep, you can't sleep. But it's a problem I've got to solve. Your phone is not connected. Well, I didn't tell you to worry about it. What's up? Anyway, um... Yeah, so I got I got to get brain brain work, <laughs> brain uh, no work this uh, this hour. Now another thing I might do is to um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, write down my topics for the day the night before. I think that might help. Okay. Here's what's on this piece of paper. This is what I want to talk about. Money. Money, money, money. I have to think about income sources for the channel. It would be lovely to believe that YouTube is just going to send me money for putting them videos on here. And technically they will. Um, but it, it'll be a while before it's a lot. And you can do a lot of things to enhance income. Why have I got sad face down arrows on my YouTube account? They were looking so good yesterday. That's what I was going to tell you about. All right, well, let's do this first. So, um, one of the things I do on YouTube is that you can subscribe to a channel. You guys know that. Um, and subscribing is free. It just lets you know whenever someone, whenever the channel puts out uh, new um, material, new, new stuff. And, uh, and that's great. But then there's another level. If you have, if, if you want, you can put on your channel beside the subscribe button. You may have seen this on other channels. What is it called? Join. Like 
going to join a membership or a club or something. And uh, that's one way to, to raise money. Joining is costs money. But there's different levels. They'll, so what channels will that do this will normally do it often. You know, I watch the gaming channels. I don't pay for any of them, but you can go in and look and see what they cost. And there'll be like five or six different levels of joining and they usually name it something like, uh, you know, member, platinum member, and super platinum member, or whatever. Um, they'll put different little names and they you get things. And the things you get, like at the low level, it's stuff like uh, you can put, you can, uh, you can have a list of different emojis, emoticons, I don't know what they're called. Um, the little smiley faces and they're specialized, you know, they've got, they've had someone draw special little things for them. I don't really have any ideas for those, um, but I guess they had someone do it. Uh, that obviously would have to be later after, after I've got an income, I can pay someone to come up with some emojis. Um, so I could do that. Another thing I do with GIFs, you know, since I obviously are out, I'm out taking a lot of videos and, um, I guess you can make, well, you can't really make a GIF from a picture. Well, anyway, I'll have videos, pl plenty of video, and I'll be able to come up with some GIFs, although whether anybody wants to put them in the chat, I don't know. But that's what they're for. It's like you sell they, you, you sell them these, this package of that, and that's like a dollar. That's, you, know, you pay a dollar a month, and then you get to use the emojis. Um, so it's everything on the list, by the way, is clearly just I'm supporting your channel, and you give me some bullshit in return. So it's not, like, highly valuable stuff. Um, so, and so not something like I have to spend a huge amount of money on. Maybe I pay an artist to draw some emojis or something. Um, I don't have a particular idea in mind for what that would be. Um, but if I think of something, then that's an option. Uh, and then... So, so, I get, so that's one thing, that whole list, different levels that I need. Could have five or six different levels and you get something different at, at each level. And I need ideas on what, what to give people back. I mean, some kind of bullshit that doesn't uh, cost me anything that I can give people that, they, that want to support me. Um, so... This is why the other day, I don't know if, it, I think, um, I don't think Scott watches this, but um, Scott messaged me and he's like, did you share something with me? You may have gotten this too, because I sent out from Google Maps, just as a test, location sharing. Now, I was going to put that and make that one of the levels, like if you pay $5 a month or 10 or whatever, I'll show you my, my, I'll share my location, my live location. And you can always know where I'm at, and won't that be fun? And that, that's somewhat a possibility still. The problem with that is, I did that for two days, and the phone was almost dead by noon every day. And this, is a, this phone has a good battery, and usually lasts. Um, I mean, if I didn't, you know, con wasn't constantly on it, um, I just checked it occasionally like a normal human being, um, it would last at least two days, at least. That's the battery. And this thing was dead by noon. <laughs> two days in a row. And of course, the phone's telling me, you know, location sharing is causing the battery to drain, which it says about half the apps on my phone. But this one, I think, was real because <laughs> the phone was... got drained. So... That's a possibility at some point in the future where, you know, I can share my location and not drain the battery or maybe where I don't. Um, maybe I have a real camera or something um, instead of using the phone for everything, um, which I, right now I don't need that. The phone is great. It's got a good camera and the gimbal, phone gimbal works great. And yeah, so that's not really on the horizon. I don't think the location sharing is going to work out for now. But I thought that was a good thing. You know, that would be cool to, you know, join at the $5 level and you get to see where I'm at all the time, going around the world, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that was an idea. Um, let's see what else. Uh, as I go out and try restaurants and sites and things, uh, I'll write up reviews on... Um, 
Google Maps and you can share your favorites list. So, um, so that could be one of the levels. I mean, that's not worth a lot. So I'm, I'm, these, some of these things may package together. Like maybe the $5 level, like you get my location and my favorites, if I ever do location. Um, it's worth noting, uh, too, that I have a want to go list already. Like this is my plan for where I want to go. Obviously that changes over the years, but that's also on Google Maps and that is already shared on the channel. If you go to the about section, it'll have a link and it says something like 30 year plan. Um, because that's how long it would take to see all these places. Um, but that's, I thought that's, so that's already on there. Uh, I don't know if I want to make that. I can't make, you can't make everything special access content because obviously there's no reason to join if people have never seen anything on the channel. So you got to have it, probably the vast majority of stuff that you're doing open and free and ready to see. Open and free and ready to see. Um, you gotta have that. I don't think we're going outside today because <laughs> the video is almost over. But um, anyway, uh, this is stuff I wanted to talk about, and uh, and I, I even have a, on the list. I told you I have my piece of paper. This is what, and it, you know, it's, you just don't find pads of paper anymore. I mean, I guess you can go to the store and buy them. This is an envelope. I'm writing on my whole thing on an envelope, but um, it's a back of the envelope calculation. Uh, but yeah, there's no pads of paper anymore. Yeah, you can buy them, but I don't like to buy things. I like people to give them to me for free. Nobody's giving me free pads of paper anymore. <laughs> Makes me angry. Uh, there's another list on Google too. Don't know what I would use that for, but that's an idea. You know, you can do it. You can just start. Actually, you can make infinite lists on Google and, and share them at whatever level um, on Google Maps. Obviously, the novelty of that wears off after a while. So between the want to go list and my favorites list, you know, where I write up reviews on places. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, there's a favorites list, but there's, then there's also, you can just make maps. I don't know if they're going to keep supporting that. Honestly, they got, they did away with the app on the, a make your own map that I could make my own map and put like my, put a write up on each one. If I just do a favorites list, it'll just be a list of favorites, and then you'll have to search on Google Maps, on regular Google Maps for my review, which would be public anyway, so you're not really getting anything. Um, but if I made my own map, that would be something I could share. Anyway, so there's an idea. That's something I'm thinking of. Um, and then you can do that for a... You can, you can play around with that in, in several different ways, I think. But again, it would... Just, just having a constant list of prog progressive list of map lists may not be great, but you could do one or two, I think. Um, oh, another thing was uh, the, the culmination of each destination is going to be a, a long video, long form, that I'm thinking... I will call 30 days, which is basically just a walk through the entire stay. And maybe the format will be, um, like this is the direction I'm going in my head, um, just a day by day where, you know, like fade, fade from black day one. And then you show some shit you did on day one and you talk about it a little bit. And I'm even thinking about doing uh, the, um, in the style of like the DVD commentary because I don't know if I just want to do a standard, I went to this place, I went to that, but like, yeah, like, oh yeah, this was the day I did that, and you're a lot more casual and just talking about whatever happened that day, and you put together the videos, and I'm not sure if it'll be background music, but it would all be toned down, like a DVD commentary. Um, that's my thought right now, but it's some sort of, of summary of the whole time. Listen, I didn't even get through the list of ways to make money, but anything you guys thought of, put in the comments, I guess, or just send me a message, Try and use the comments when we get to the real channel, <laughs> when we make the transition, because uh, that will encourage other people on the internet to also use it, and uh, that's good, apparently. Anyway, that's today. I got several things more on the list, and I will pick up again and talk about it tomorrow, and then 
there was good news on the channel, but it's just that numbers are up, so it's not a lot to talk about. All right, see you guys tomorrow.